we've already spoken about, you know, you won the European Championships with England. What was that, 2015? 2015, I think it was the yeah. year before the, the Olympics. Do, does that sort of have any... Um, does that sort of have any effect on the momentum going into something like Great Britain the following year that you've got you've had that taste of success? Yeah, massive. And for me, that was a massive turning point in my career um, because I didn't get selected for 2012 and I thought, right, I'll give it one more go. Yeah. And everyone was going brilliant and I broke my ribs in November 2014. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, I did, and I played on it um, because Alex Danson had got a concussion. He was the captain, so yeah. she was out in the first game and I got smashed in the first game. And then after it, I was then nominated to become captain. And I was in pain, but I thought I could play on here because we still need that extra player. Yeah. And I probably did more damage playing on it. And it wasn't until I got home, I realized I'd broken two ribs. Okay. So then I was out for like six months mm-hmm. because oh, you can't do anything time, on broken yeah. ribs. But mm-hmm. then I ended up doing my groin and hamstring after it. And then I got back fit, but then didn't get selected for the Olympic qualifier that summer. Oh, no. oh, okay. So like all the feelings and like self-doubt yeah. from... 2012, 2011, not happening, yeah. not happening yeah. just came back and I just mm-hmm. thought there's no point. But I had three weeks when they came back from the qualifiers um, until Europeans, which is the one where we won gold. Yeah. So the girls had one week off and in that one week I basically just beasted myself so that for the two weeks prior to selection mm-hmm. that we had in camp, I was going to be the fastest, the strongest, yeah, yeah. win every tackle, win every 50-50, do, yeah. do everything I could because I was like, if I don't get selected, I'm going to quit. Yeah. Because I'm not going through another another cycle, another cycle mm-hmm. of just not getting selected and a little bit of embarrassment, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the squad was exactly the same, apart from one change, and it was another girl out and another me in. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just went into a bit of effort mode, beast yeah. mode, mm-hmm. head down, this head is down, it. one more, one yeah. last dance, mm-hmm. literally, and then just played my arse off. Basically, <laughs> got player of the match in the final, won yeah. gold. We beat the Dutch, who were number one in the world, mm-hmm. um, on penalties. I think, what did it end up to all? I can't remember. I should know that. You should know that. And then itself. we went into penalties. <laughs> yeah, we were losing 2-1. And then in the last two minutes, we scored to equalise and then yeah. beat them on penalties. Right, okay. Which was great, because yeah. the year and summer after, yeah. three all, relive Olympic that. final. Yeah, relive that we looked time. over, yeah. and you could see they were thinking, oh, this again. is just all, like <laughs> Europeans again. You could see it in their body language, the way they walked over, and we all sprinted in. Um, so yeah, probably fate, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Because I, I often think about you know how how these things work out, and you know you, you're talking there about a lot of self doubt, a lot of injuries, a lot of uh, you know you, you even said the words there. If this didn't work out, I'm going to quit. Mm. Yeah. And then it it goes right for you. Just at the end. And yeah. then you you end up going and winning a gold medal for uh, Great Britain the following year. What does that feel like for you? Because I, I remember watching, I watching back some of the, the footage and what have you, and especially with those penalties. I'm looking at the whole line of, of players there, and you're jumping up and down <laughs> in the centre of them. You know what I mean? I'm assuming for you, it was was it total like nerves going into that penalty shootout? No, the penalty Believe. shootout. No, yeah, I no. think just because of Europeans, what had happened, and looking over and yeah. seeing them so deflated. Mm. Yeah, like for stuff like that, for me, it's it's massively well, that's mental. Well, games in it. That's when you yeah. know you've got the edge. Yeah, and, and we practiced. Uh, with Andrea, the psychologist. Mm. Everyone knew what the job was. The night before, people who were taking the penalties were doing the revision on what their goalie does. Mm-hmm. Our two goalies, Maddie and Kirsty, were just refining the notes. Mm. So you knew already at that point that it was going to take a penalty, they're going to take yeah. a penalty. Oh, that's, yeah. where, that's where were you planning. In, where, where were you at, you know, uh, in, in that sort of thing? I never was. You I never, never was. Were. I still even now, not even a club. I'm one of them who was like... I'm I just sure. do the dirty work at the back. Okay, like, yeah, I fine. put in the bl- the big tackles. Yeah, but don't put it down like that. That's still the, the yeah. stuff that needs to get through. <laughs> I'm not the one who's going to polish the ball past nine players and put yeah. it top corner. I'm, sure. the, I'm the one who, you know, the opposition do runs the past Dyke. nine players. <laughs> mm. I drop my shoulder, take the ball and the player, and then pass it to someone else. Yeah. Like, we all know our roles in a team. Mm. Mm. Um, but no, in, in terms of the penalty shootout, we all kind of felt it. And I think when Alex took hers and it hit yeah. the post, yes, yeah. that's when we knew. Because they changed the rules of penalties. It used to be a flick, which was basically a normal penalty. Yeah. Flick it from the yeah. P spot into the yeah. corner mm-hmm. to then shuttles to make the game more interesting. It was, yeah, yeah. But it made it more in favour of the goalkeeper. So when you look at penalty shuttles now, mm-hmm. there's only like one or two goals ever scored mm. out of oh, ten. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because it was it was close in that sense. But I remember mm. I remember watching the final and Maddie Hinch had an absolute worldy, didn't she? Yeah. Again, and absolute it's worldly. and it's down to that homework to being prepared mm. and knowing what the your belief. opposition's going to do mm. um, because ultimately when it comes to pressure people default to type mm-hmm. and what they know best 
So being automatic, what you've practiced you just, you go in, to, You go to your strength. Mm. So Maddie knew, like, right, okay, number seven's come up. She'd look at a famous notebook yeah. and, and she'd go, right, she does that. She runs in right and then pulls two drags to the left These and are reverse the habits, it. habits, yeah. Yeah, just like they would have done, but obviously clearly not as thorough. Of and as well as us. Yeah, yeah. Because that, because that, someone get the violin out. <laughs> <laughs> but you say that you know the kind of the match was it was a was a classic really. You know, three three going into there. There was no real separating the two teams, were there? No, I mean from what I can remember. Yeah, spectators anyway, the got match. the money's worth, didn't they? For Absolutely. The, the ticket. Absolutely. But that was the only game I was nervous for physically. Like you get nervous in your yeah, belly, yeah, but yeah. like physically shaking. Like literally yeah. on edge. Or was yeah. you? Well, I came on. Well, didn't I gave away the penalty. You? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you just dismiss that concept. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll, we'll brush over that yeah. one, definitely. <laughs> but but the, only, the only penalty I've ever given away in my career, and that was down to pure nerves. Mm. Pure nerves. But that's sport. That's what, yeah. that's what people watch it for. Exactly. They like them moments. Yeah, I read the script, Bianca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs>